you hear in the daily life a lot about percentage what was your percentage on your report or what percentage did you get for your test or it can be uh, there's a sale what percentage discount do you have is it 25 percent or 10 percent discount but percentage is always something out of a hundred if you have a fraction or a mark out of five you first convert that five to a hundred what can you do with a five to make it a hundred you times by twenty then it's three times twenty if you multiply the denominator then you have to multiply the numerator with the same number so that gives you sixty out of a hundred and that is sixty percent and that will be in a decimal fraction is 0, 0,6 or 0, 0,60. 13 out of 20. The 20, what must you do to turn the 20 into 100? So you times it by 5. And the 13 times by 5 is 65 out of 100. That is 65%, 0, 0,65. In a column, they love to ask you that in a column notation. So the 18 out of 50. What must I do with the 50 to convert it to 100 times by 2? That gives me 36 out of 100, 0, 0,36, 36%. 24 out of 30, you cannot change the 30 or convert the 30 straight to 100. You can first look, can I convert it to a 10? And then, or something else that you can then convert to 100. Or what you also can do is, if... It's, for example, 5 eighths. You can divide the 5 by 8 to convert it that way. So if, uh, this one, I said it's 8 tenths, and that equals to 80 hundredths. And decimal fraction is 0, 0,8 or 0, 0,80. That's 80%. 1 20th is 5 hundredths. And that is 0, 0,05. Remember the hundredths. The second one behind the comma, that one will be tens. So five hundredths, and that is five percent. Calculate the difference, or twenty-five percent of three hundred and sixty-five rand. So you write twenty-five out of a hundred because twenty-five percent equals to twenty-five hundredths. In the place of of, you write times three hundred and sixty-five. Over 1. You just write it over 1 because this one is already in a fraction notation. You can simplify. You can say, all right, let's divide this one by 25 and that one. And that gives you a quarter. Then it's 365 divided by 4. But it's always easier to stay with 100 because you can divide so easy by 100. So it's 25 times by 365 gives you 9,125. 100 times by 1 is 100. When you divide two zeros, the commas there, if you don't see it, your digits move two places backwards to get smaller. So 25% of 365 rand is 91 rand and 25 cents. When you have to, on a sale, you get a sale and there's 25% discount. You first calculate what is 25 out of 100 of 365 in the place of of you write times and that gives you 91 rand and 25 cent but you're not done with your test they ask you how much will you pay if you get 25 percent discount so you take this answer and you just subtract it from 365 so that gives you 365 rand minus the 91 rand 25 cents just be careful, you tend to write that answer, the 25 there, it's not right. 0 minus 5 is not enough, so you take 1 from the 5 units, that gives you 4. And then you carry 1 over, it's 10, then you take 1 from there, it's a 9, so it's 10 minus 5 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7, so you continue, so it's 272 rand and 75 cents. They can also ask you, for example, increase. We had this one was decrease it with 25%. Then you can have increase it with 25%. So you take your answer that you had there at the top and then you just add it to 
365 rand and then you will get your answer when you have to multi calculate then uh, what percentage at the previous question they ask you just look at the difference they give you a number 25 percent if there's a digit in front of the percentage you write the 25 over 100 so you will divide by 100 but in this case they just ask you what percentage is 40 cents of 3 rand 20 what percentage so percentage doesn't have a digit in front of it then you will multiply by 100 over 1 so 3 rand 20 convert to the same unit so you have 3 rand 20 is 320 cents so what's 40 cents of 3 rand 20 or 40 cents out of 3 rand 20 like for a test then it's 40 over 320 times by 100 over 1 then it will give you you can simplify you can divide there by 10 and then you can divide by 4 and divide by 4 that gives you 1 8 1 times 100 is 100 8 times 1 is 8 so you still have to say 100 divided by 8 when you calculate here on the side put your comma at the back and your two zeros then you have 10 divided by 8 gives you 1 remainder 2 20 divided by 8 is 8 16 is 2 20 minus 16 is 4 then you have 40 divided by 8 is 5 so your answer here will be 12,5%. Calculate the percentage increase. So again, percentage without a digit in front. So you know you will multiply with a 100. But then they say, what is a percentage increase? So something co uh, um, cost 60 Rand and now it costs 84 Rand. So what percentage increase or percentage increase on your salary? So your step one is calculate the difference. So you take the biggest one minus the smallest. You get the difference. Then you write the difference on the amount that you started with. So you have, it was 24 Rand, as the difference, and I started with 60 Rand. So it's 24 over the 60 times by 100 over 1. Then you can simplify, you can divide there by 10 and 10, and divide by 6 there, divide by 6, that gives you 4 over 1, times by 10 over 1, that gives you 40%. When you have to calculate the percentage decrease, you first get the difference, biggest minus the smallest. Although it started with 17 and 40, you say the big one minus the small one. So the decrease was 60 cents. But then step two, write the difference on the amount you started with. So it was 17 rand for, um, 40 cents. So I put the 60 cents on the 17 rand 40, make it cents. Then you calculate it. I had to do a long division calculation here. So use your uh, clue board and then you divide, you bring down the zeros. You only have to calculate to three places. Only if they indicate to four or five, then you continue. But to three places. So the answer here will be three rand comma four of three comma four four eight. But then you round off to two decimal places. So knock knock and two places. I underline that one. Who's knocking at my back door? Five or more raise the score. So it's 3,45% decrease. So the petrol, we're paying 3,45% less than what we did pay.